we are on the last cell in uh, the last row. We just have to do some plus wiring, get them all hooked together, test it, make sure they don't have any issues anywhere. Um, I was, uh, I was at been tossing it up in the air all day and yesterday as to exactly how to put this first one together. I'm not looking for a home run obviously with this with this uh, particular solar panel. But you know there's a thousand different ways that you can do it. And uh, one of the ways uh, you've probably run across this on YouTube if you've been looking at my videos you've seen a hundred other ones. Um, one of the videos shows you just running a cork or a bead of silicone in a uh, vertical manner and uh, and then letting that cure put the put it sandwich in glass and letting it cure. Um, and then sealing it out, sealing air, sealing the outside, the perimeter. So basically, you use cheap glass and uh, run ribs of silicone, which does two things. It, it'll help laminate one piece of glass to the other and support the cells in between. But the problem I see with that method is that if you run your silicone, you sandwich the glass in there, air can travel sure through there, sure it takes three or four days for that silicone to cure, but when you go to seal it in, you still have air in there which is which contains moisture. And I foresee the future uh, them uh, fogging up. You're gonna get like you see a Failed double pane window fail. Um, a factory double pane window will fail, and uh, you'll end up with uh, um, you'll end up with fogged glass. And if you do that and trap it, then you, there's nothing you can do about it. The other thing is, is if you are creating a space where light rays can get in, and they can't get out. Your, uh, the heat within those two panes of glass is going to increase dramatically and uh, the hotter your panels or the hotter your cells get the less efficient they become so there's a few issues with that I see the point hi I see the point of uh, doing it that way if all you can get a hold of is cheap glass in this case I have safety glass so I'm not too worried about doing it that method so I've decided to try um, to try an encapsulation process. And one of the encapsulation processes is using um, I, I think everybody refers to it as Slyguard, but I think it's Silguard. It's, uh, or seal guard, S Y L guard. Dupont makes it, and uh, that's one method. I've seen this other stuff called Solar Tight, um, and uh, that seems to be the cheapest. So, um, looking around at the different different methods that you can use, um, I really don't have. A gob of money that I can just go ahead and buy a bunch of uh, encapsulation. If I if I could buy it in small quantities, just what I needed, I'd probably get away with it. Now get this first one going. And get uh, get a method down. Get 
get inspired after I get this one working. And then, uh, then I'll look for some better glass. And now, one of the videos that I've seen pointed out the same, the same guy that uh, uses the double pane and silicone method. Um, one of his uh, one of his uh, suppliers that he had shared with us was uh, uh, online metals and that actually looks like a pretty good resource because I just checked at Lowe's the cost of aluminum angle and an inch and a half aluminum angle is like thirty something dollars inch and a half angle on the website is about I think it's seven dollars for the rounded and you know had the round uh, inside corner rounded edges or the square more cut off square uh, extruded aluminum was uh, I think it maybe twelve dollars for an eight foot stick so <clears throat> um, a lot cheaper definitely to purchase it online okay so we've got to throw a couple of short pieces of tabbing wire here over to the top down to the bottom so where did my tabbing wire go Out. We'll call it four inches. Okay, that's for there. And that's for there. Um, when you buy your flux pens, uh, good luck with that. I uh, had bought one, and it was probably the cheapest one. It came from China. By the time it rode the boat across the pond, it got here. It was. Uh, oops, I've still got the case. Right there. Anyway, it was uh, it was dried up, dried in a popcorn fart. So I don't know if that happens to everybody, but it happened to me. So thought I'd share that. So I bought another one. I spent a little bit more money on the second one. It's the same number, the same manufacturer, the same everything. It just, uh, it, uh, it came with actually some flux in it, so. Hi, beautiful outfit. <laughs>